Welcome to Rogers. Pour le service en français, appuyez sur le 8. That's right. Okay, I should be able to pull that one up then. But I'll check with her here if you don't mind holding. I'll make sure uh, she gave me the right number. Uh, yeah, but this account is not delinquent. She only owes $2.04. Oh my gosh, she has to make a payment on that immediately. Or she'll get shut off. So I'm going to transfer to you then. With... With two dollars and four cents? Yes. She won't get shut off with that amount. That would be logical. No. It's only no. when it's over fifty Look, dollars. I don't care if she's stealing a hundred dollars from us or two dollars. She needs to make those payments. There's and, no risk of a suspension and, if you look in vision. And by God, she's going to pay that amount today, or I'm going to shut her off personally. I don't care. If, I don't is care this, if I get is this fired. When it's on delinquent, you don't you don't have to transfer over. You're, you can take the payment and listen, that's it. Your, but if you want me to take it, your, I'll take the call. Your face is delinquent. <laughs> I'm sorry? Your face is delinquent. You're telling me my, my face is delinquent? Your mom's face is delinquent. <laughs> Kevin, are you playing with me? Yeah, I gotta go now, though. I'm gonna call this new number that I got. Kevin, I don't appreciate that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a file a complaint over you. Don't, don't, don't file a complaint over me. That's rude. Why, why are you talking to me that way? I've had too many complaints this month. <laughs> well, sir, uh, Kevin, this is this is not a way to treat an internal employee. The three strikes rule is, is about to go into effect on me. <laughs> well, be careful. You just insulted me. Okay, well, don't tell anyone. I don't anyone. appreciate don't, that, Kevin. Don't tell. Maybe you shouldn't be working at Rogers. Don't tell. Don't tell on me. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna have to tell. I don't no, have don't. to take this from you, Kevin. Okay, I'm apologizing. You insulted me. I don't appreciate that. Okay, well. Please don't tell. Don't tell. This is gonna have to go to human resources, Kevin. I'm sorry. Oh, this is human resources. We've actually been monitoring the call. Oh, shit! Not again. Yeah. Kevin. Kevin. We've been monitoring your calls all day. And fuck, Kevin. Enter the call over, okay? Kevin, you know you have two strikes. Th and thanks a lot, lady. I'm gonna we're going to have to let you go. Uh, Actually, we're going to have to let both of you go. God damn it. Oh, good. I hope I, I, hope I can gonna, stand in We're going to kill two birds with one stone here. Are you okay, Kevin? No, it, that's the human resources on the Kevin? line. You got me in trouble, you big jerk. Hi, hi. Who am I speaking with besides Kevin? Who's on the line right now? Hi, this is Jim from Human Resources. We've been we've been monitoring Kevin Hi, Kevin's calls all day. Smoke we've been monitoring his calls. It's part of a, oh, a that's strike that's program. Too, too many people talking at the same time. Well, if you didn't smoke so much okay, weed, so you wouldn't have a problem understanding us all. Kevin, Kevin, enough. Sorry, sorry. You've already lost your job. Well, she shouldn't come to work high. It's not my fault she smokes so much weed. I, I understand, and we're dealing with oh, both God. these problems here. Do I need to stay on the call to listen to this, or...? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'd just like to get your information so we can... F f just for the filing, yeah. we'll make this as quick as possible. And also, it'll make me LOL, because I know that it's messing with your call, you know, statistics All thing. Right. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. I, can I just get your name? Christina, accounts receivable. Christina, accounts receivable. What's the last name? Uh, ooh, uh, can I just know, um, I want to make sure you work for Ruin Resources Listen, because we don't, don't really the, have to I don't need the last name. We, we need your I'd social like insurance number, ma'am. I'll, I'll give you my employee number, okay? No, your social That's insurance number. 312? 312. Okay, again, too many people talking at the same time. Kevin, Wait, shut the fuck up. Lay, off, two. lay off the weed, Christina. Oh my, okay, uh, I'm going to have to take, uh, to have a supervisor take the call. Hold the line, thank you. Hurry the fuck up. Snowplow show. Snow plow show. Snow plow show. Snow plow show. Okay, bitch. Snow plow show. Roy. W what? R Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder? <laughs> okay. Go, 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 sha, go, 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 Roy, long shits on the toilet. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Hello. This is the grooming manager. How can I help you? Hello. Who, 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 who the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. My wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. Yeah. Bob Dabalina. <laughs> Bob Dabalina. What's this? Bitch, asshole. I don't fuck you.
Fuck you, bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Bird blinder? Fucked in the ass. Hello, ma'am. Goodbye. Dobelina. Ma'am, ma'am. Hello. Goodbye. Dobelina. This is Sensei Doug. What? Sensei me fucking Doug. Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy, Westy? Is it you? Are you the good boy, Westy? Roy, Steve Dave, Rock Bob, Dobelina. Go suck a dick. Roy, Steve Dave, Rock Bob, Dobelina. Go suck a dick. Listen, Westy, you little shit. <laughs> Thirdwinder? Okay. I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. Cactus, 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 motherfucker. Hello, everybody. You're listening to the Snowplow Show for June 19th, 2018. This is episode 475, sponsored by Robert S., Jason B., Wolfleton, David J., and King Richard. It is their fault that this is going to be a short episode. I'm not going to do that many calls. And the main reason is because I want to get a show out today, and I don't think I'm going to get one out otherwise if I don't make it a short one. So that's what's happening today. You're going to hear a very short show, kind of like a hobo sode, but I'm calling it a snowplow show. I don't know why I just don't call it a hobo sode. Oh, yeah, there's a reason for that. The reason is... Two reasons, really, which are both probably reasons that I won't get shows done for the next couple days. Tomorrow, I'm going to have Not Brad on the Not Phone Show thing. You know, the show that I usually stream on Facebook. I think we're going to be doing a show together right around noon, noon Pacific time. Most likely, we're still working out the details. Maybe it'll be more like 1 p.m. Pacific time. I'm not completely sure, but we're going to be doing one of those shows. It's a call-in show. You can call in to talk to me and Not Brad. Not Brad was kind of a regular on the old phone show, and he's been in a few episodes of the Snowplow Show. We did a bunch of pizza calls together once. In fact, I think I'm going to try and drop a prank of his at the beginning of today's show. So if you heard a prank at the beginning of today's show, hopefully it was Not Brad doing something hilarious. Hopefully. I don't know if I have those labeled or not. Maybe I won't be able to find one. We'll see. But yeah, PLA show tomorrow at noon Pacific time on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone losers. And probably after we finish with that, I'll just spend the rest of the day editing it. So I don't think I'm going to get a snowplow show done. All thanks to Not Brad. Thanks a lot, Not Brad. I'm also talking to Laugh Track Matt. He wants to do a show this week. So I might do two of those shows this week, the call-in shows. So maybe there'll be an entire week of short snowplow shows like this one's going to be. I'll try to do at least one long one, though, like maybe this weekend. I'll do my best. Also, on Thursday, this is the other reason that I want to do a snowplow show today, is because I want to announce that on Thursday, I'm going to be on the Cave Crew Radio Show over at cavecrewradio.com. They do a show on Facebook and Shoutcast, except last time I was on their show, their Shoutcast was all messed up or something. So your best bet is to use Facebook. If you're one of those weirdos that doesn't have a Facebook Be sure to hit yourself in the head or something for being a part of that stupid delete Facebook movement, you fucking idiots. How are you going to listen to Cave Crew Radio and the Not Brad Show this week if you don't have a Facebook? Who gives a shit if they sell your info? Every site sells your info. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to do a show now, I think. Do I have any show notes? Should I just save them? Oh, there's the thing about Olga's comic strip. If you go over to patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons... She's doing a comic strip. Her and King Richard and I Regret Jumping, they are putting a comic strip together called The Corporate Office, and it's all about PLA. and has weird inside PLA jokes and stuff in it. And if you like this show, you'll probably like this comic book thing that she's doing. Go check that out. Patreon.com slash Olga Draws Dragons. She's done the cover for it, and she's done at least two comic strips now. And she says she's going to do a third one in the next week or two, I think. I think she's shooting for every two weeks. Those are the important things to remember. Olga Draws Dragons, Cave Crew Radio on Thursday, and Not Brad tomorrow on Wednesday. Wednesday at noon. If you don't have Facebook, you can still listen. It's phonelosers.com slash live to listen to it on the shoutcast. But then you can't see the video. What's the point if you can't see the video? Fucking idiots.
Here's a prank request. It was sent in a few days ago, last week, I guess. He wants me to prank this guy, Rudy, at an Italian restaurant. Rudy is the owner of an Italian restaurant. He's easily agitated, and he's kind of a jerk. You'd probably get a good call out of it. I would suggest you say something about getting food poisoning or his food tasting like cigarettes. Or just call it a waste of time. It should be funny, whatever you say. So let's call this place and see if Rudy is browned. Thanks for calling. Hello, is Rudy Browned? This is he. Oh, hey, Rudy. Uh, I was in there earlier and I left something behind. Is there any way, um, like, has anything been turned in? Wait, when were you here? Uh, like, it was yesterday. Well, I was closed yesterday. You sure you got the right place to see? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I was closed Sunday and Monday. Okay, look, I just didn't want to get in trouble. I um, I was in there today, and I was in your cooler, you know, in the freezer. Who are you? Uh, my name's Roy. From where? Uh, I, I live here in town. I just, uh, you know, I, I left my cell phone behind in the freezer. I, I left it just sitting on a, a stack of, uh, I don't know, plastic things or whatever. Where, when were Could, you in this restaurant? Early, early today. Doing what? I, I was just in the in the freezer, just hanging out. Are you serious? Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to be in there. I just, you know, I just needed to kind of get away from 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 everyone. Just just you know, take take a minute to myself. Get some quiet time. What time were you here? Uh, I don't remember the time exactly. I was kind of I was kind of high at the time, so you know. It's hard to pinpoint the exact minute. I don't think you was here. That you were here. I don't think it was when you were here. I was here all day. I know. I but came in, locked the, unlocked the door. I came in. I was here. I was just there a there little bit ago. Here. I I just I I left my stuff my stuff in there my my phone and my disc man. I don't think you have the right place, pal. No, I, it was definitely your place. Like, why don't you think I had the right place? Because I was here all day. Nobody came through this door. Well, you know, you weren't, you weren't watching it constantly, were you? Yeah, I was. I was in here all day. Uh, I don't think so, because I was in there. And what were you doing in here? I, I was just hanging out. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just in there hanging out. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just in there. And what did you leave here? I was just in there smoking weed. That's all. I don't believe you. Why not? Because I don't. Well, I, I don't. I, I don't believe. left here. I, I don't believe you that you didn't find my stuff. I think maybe you're trying to steal it, because it's a it's a thousand dollar phone. I'm trying to steal your phone that you think you left here in my restaurant. You were in here smoking weed. Are you out of your mind? Well, it seems a little weird that you can't find it in there when I know it's in there, because I. Well, why don't you come back here and take a look? Okay. Oh, you're gonna let me in the freezer now? You're out of your mind, pal. I'm not out of my mind. I just, I just want my phone back. There's nothing here. Why are you trying to steal my phone? Like, can't you afford your own phone? The caller ID came up, my perfect gig. What is that? But don't worry about it. That's my business. Well, if you call here again or come here, the police are going to meet you here. That doesn't make sense. Why You're going to have the police hanging no, out there to meet me? me, pal. I don't know if this is a prank or not. Stop calling it's, here. It's okay? not a prank. I want my shit if back. You, if you left something here, come and get it. Give me my shit back, Rudy. Come and get it, douchebag. Well, you won't even, you're saying you don't even have it, so why should I even come in? Well, th- if you say it's here, come and see if it's here. You're a thief and a liar. Yeah, right. Okay, whatever. That's exactly what you are. Well, I fucked that up in every way imaginable, but he still got kind of pissed. So you're welcome for that, whoever sent this in. Next, I've got a request from an entire Latin class, the Latin 2B first hour class of 2018 at Urnard High. I don't know if I should say the name of the high school. I don't want you people looking this lady up. But they gave me the number to their Latin teacher, Barbara. This is my teacher's phone number. Please do go crazy. She's 75 and she's a fucking card. And by that, I mean she is the most intensely traditionalist person I've ever met. She once almost had me suspended for burping outside her classroom. 
Well, maybe don't burp outside people's classrooms, you disgusting piece of shit. I agree with Barbara on that. She tormented us through two whole years of Latin, and now she's retiring finally. Please, our class would love to see you prank the fuck out of her. She's so old and clueless, it would be legendary. One time, me and a friend planted a Bluetooth speaker in her closet and played Vietnam War sound and fart noises for 45 minutes. And she thought it was Mr. Wright, the military history teacher next door. That's kind of awesome. I wish I had toys like that when I was in high school. That'd be so much fun. I had to resort to things like sewing a uh, speaker in the back of my jacket that I wore to school. I think I have pictures of that on my Instagram that I found a few years ago. Didn't have all this fancy Bluetooth technology. Kind of jealous. Uh, anyway, I have given you her home number and a picture of her in the classroom. And she looks like a very nice old lady. I think I'm going to have to use this as show art today. She does look kind of traditional there. I don't know what to say to her, really. I just put her phone number into 411.com, and it looks like I have her husband's name and their home address and everything right now. So I guess I could pretend to be one of her neighbors, maybe rip up her mail, maybe tell her to chop down a tree or something. I don't know. Let's just give her a call. Hello? Hello, Barbara? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Roy. I live, I'm your neighbor. I, I live kind of sort of across the street. Uh-huh. Hey, um, you know that tree that's right next to your driveway, but it's like out there by the street? Uh-huh. Is that your tree or does the city own it? Well, the city put it in when they had to take down a tree that was dropping heavy branches. So they gave us a choice of what we wanted to put in there. Oh, I see. And that, I don't know what the real name of it is, but they call it a lilac tree. Because those blooms look like lilacs. Yeah, they kind of do. I noticed that. Um, hey, yeah. do, you, do you think you could cut that down? Cut it down? Yeah, just like chop it down or at least chop the top half of it off. Just have like a, sh a short tree. Why? Because it's blocking my view from my telescope. Gee, I'd have to talk to my husband, but I don't think so. Well, can you just we do it? kind of like it. Can you just do it without asking him? Can you just like do it yourself? No, I wouldn't do that. Like, can you do it today? Can I come over and do it? No, thank you very much. Bye-bye. But, but no, no, like, ma'am, please. Um, ma'am. She did not want to talk to me. Darn it. I really wanted to mess with the Latin teacher. It's too bad I don't know any Latin. I could throw some Latin phrases in there at her. Really blow her mind, you know. Hello? Hey, can you please cut down the tree? Just please. Who are you again? Uh, this Roy is Roy who? Roy, yeah, from across the street, kind of. Last like, name, please. Who? Last name. Uh, who? Your last name. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's who. It's H-U. Oh, it's foreign. Well, we're, not cut, we're not touching that tree. But, but I, can't see, so, I can't see Venus's two moons unless the tree's, like, just the top of it. It's just, sorry. It's just tall enough to block Venus's two moons. Please. <laughs> well, at least she picked back up. I'm sorry, first hour of class. I really tried. And I don't want to keep bothering her. I don't want to keep calling her. She needs to enjoy her retirement. Or wait, you know what? Just one more time. But this time, I'm going to call her from a different phone number. She's probably not going to pick up. But maybe she will. But this will be the last call. No more calls to Barbara after this. Hello? Hello, Barbara? Yes. Hey, it's Carol. I'm calling you from the, the comptroller's office here with the city of... Yes. And um, we got this complaint from a neighbor of yours, Roy. He says your tree is blocking his view of Venus's two moons. Listen, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard of. Let him move his telescope. Well, he, he just said... called me five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, he just What's complained his... to us. What's his name? It's Roy Who. He's a neighbor of yours. How do you, how do you spell Who? H U. W U. Oh no, just H U. Well, H I have never met this person, and you know, the tree belongs to the city. Yeah, but it, you're you're violating his rights as an astronomer because he just really wants to look at Venus and Venus's two moons. Well, let him uh, issue a written complaint to us. Well, can, this can, is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Can't he just, just cut the top of it off? He just wants, like, the top half of it cut off. Too bad. Could you just, it's our tree. Could you just so go tough bananas. 
I'm sorry, what was that? The city put up that tree. We had a big tree there, and it was dropping big branches yeah. years ago. You're welcome. So the city, the city called, and we called, and the city removed the tree. Then they said they would put in a new tree, and they gave us some selections that we could take. Uh, you know, which, which kind of tree do we want? We picked that one. But, I've never but, heard of anything like this. But, but, so he better get himself a lawyer, and you better send me a document oh, or something. Oh, don't, don't be like that. Come on. He, he just wants to see Venus's two moons. Like, it, and he's, his, his house is... Well, a, fine. Let him go someplace else and see him. What he, is this? I've never heard of anything like this. He, he wants and to, who are you? He wants to do it from his telescope in his house and, like, out the window, you know? And what's and, his address? Ah, uh, I, I can't give you that information. You could be an identity well, thief. Well, maybe he better come over here and talk to my husband and me, because well, this is the strangest thing I ever heard of. Well, he said you're being very grouchy, ma'am, and he didn't want to, like, go there because you're being so grouchy. Well, I don't see why I should have to let somebody cut down a tree that's on my property. Well, just to be a good neighbor. And what's your, and what's your name? Uh, this is Carol. I'm, I'm from the comptroller's office. And what's the number there? Uh, it would be 420. And who is the comptroller of... Uh, that's me. Oh, and do you have a last name? Yeah, but I'm not going to give it to you because you're too grouchy. Look, can you just go out there and just cut the tree down real quick? It's not a big deal. No, I will not do that, and please don't call me Just again. get some scissors, ma'am. Just get scissors. <laughs> She said tough bananas, and I talked over her. That sucks. I could have had an old lady yelling tough bananas at me. I really need to get like a multi-track setup here so I can edit myself out when I'm talking over an old lady saying tough bananas. Damn it, I hate myself for talking over her on that part. That sucks. Hello to all you Snowplow Show listeners. Mr. Pickles here from the Slug Plug Podcast. Reminding everyone to make a small monthly donation to the Snowplow Show's Patreon page. Patreon page. Patreon page. <laughs> Patreon page. Here's one from Empire Textbooks. He says, I am staying at the Marriott in blah, blah, blah. And there's a sign that someone put on the inside of their car asking for someone to call them if they need it moved. See attached photo. It's strange because it's in the middle of the hotel parking lot. The car is a white Chrysler sedan. Thought it might be funny for you to call them and pretend to be from the hotel, say that their car is currently being towed because it's been there too long or that their car's scratched. But this was like three or four days ago, so he's probably not there anymore. Otherwise, I would tell him that his car is on fire or something. It'd be hilarious. Hello? Hello? This is uh, Roy from the Marriott here in... Uh, hi. Hi. What's I... up? Uh, well, it looks like you left your car here in the parking lot. My car? Yeah, your car, it's still here. My car? What, what, what car are you talking about? What kind of car? Uh, it's the same car you came in. It looks like, like, we looked at the security cameras, and it looks yeah. like what happened is you probably got into the wrong car. You got into an identical car and left with that one. It happens sometimes, because a lot of people have the same type of cars. The keys usually work, you know, and different cars really well like so, what, what kind of car are you talking about i have a uh, i have a uh, white uh, chrysler that's the one it's a white chrysler did you look at the license plate it's a sedan right it's yeah it is it is a sedan but it has the stuff that i put in my backpack so i'm pretty sure it's my car oh no no it's definitely not your car because your car is still here it's got your your license plate on it and everything from what is the license plate you have? My license plate. I don't, with I don't have it here with L. me. I'm just saying you, you took the wrong car. You took someone else's car and they're very upset about it. And you need to drive back here and give them their car back and get your own. It's an honest mistake. It's not you're not in trouble or anything. You just you just need to come back and get your car. Let me go back and check check yeah, my yeah. license plate. I'm pretty sure I drive the correct car because I see my stuff in the back. Backpack. No, I, I think the car I drove back. We we understand you're probably here doing a lot of drugs or something. It's it's not a big deal. It's not, none of our business. But you got into the wrong car and you drove the wrong car back home. Uh, I Just, don't know what you're talking about. If I go back have, and check, it's the wrong license plate. I'll call you back. Have, right. have you already left the state? 
Because they want. No, I'm stealing the state. Okay, because they they want to know when they're going to get their car back. Uh, I can give you a call at night. Is that fine? I'll, I'll go back home and double check if my license plate is the correct one. Yeah. yeah, it's just that the, there's this old couple here, and they have the same car as you, and they don't want to take your car home. They they live all the way in Maine. They don't want to drive your car to Maine. Cause, you know, there's <laughs> I live in, in the, New York, so it's a far drive to me as well. So. Yeah, but they're not the one that made the mistake. You're the one that made the stupid mistake. Look, I... I'll double check my license plate. Is that all right? Yeah, that's no, fine. Back, like, but right? I don't see why you even have to double check. Why don't you just take my word for it? You you have the wrong car, you idiot. Like, bring back these people's car. It's going to be like Grand Theft Are Auto you? if you don't hurry up and bring their car back. Look, I don't you know need, what you're talking about, all right? You need, you need to, I'm handing up. Bye. I told you exactly told you. what I'm talking about. Yep, that was pretty stupid. Thank you, Empire Textbooks, for that one. I think I kind of messed it all up, but whatever. He's confused. He's actually going to go check his license plate to make sure he didn't get the wrong car. Hey, Arby. It's the duelist. Hello. Hey, uh, I was wondering, you know at the end of every show, you play like a small little clip to like the last like five seconds? I do. How do you pick those? Um, uh, I was just wondering. Oh, you know. Talk to you later. Love the shows. I try to get a clip from the show itself, like during post-editing. After I record the show, I have to go through and listen to the entire thing again and edit out all the extra ringing and the awkward silences. And if I find something funny, I just clip it out of there, save it as a separate file, and I put it in a directory called Roycipians. So if I don't have a clip to use from that show, like I forgot to clip something out, or if there were just no really great clips for the end, I'll just grab some random old clip from past shows. But yeah, I'm looking at the directory right now. There's 208 items in it of stuff like this. She's not a robot. And this. I'm high as a sock. She's high as a sock. 4206969. Goodbye, stupid. There's just tons and tons of hilarious clips of Roy Sipian. Is this a fucking joke? Saying hilarious. This is the most unusual conversation I've ever had. Saying hilarious things. You're no. Why don't you come clean with me who you really are? No, it would be fun. And then it would we'll be tell a- you if we want to come to the theater with you. <laughs> So there you go. There's an answer to your question. I'm only going to do a few voicemails today, you guys. Don't worry. I'm not going to do a giant 20-minute segment of them since I did such a small amount of Brad. prank calls. It's Big Moist. Hey, Big Just Moist. Just wanted to let you know that your show is so much better when you're high. Oh, really? Really high. Okay. And also a little drunk. You should try it. It's Thanks. Fun. Okay, bye. I kind of think I disagree with you, though. I think my worst shows are when I'm really high. I like my shows when I'm drunk, but when I'm high, they kind of suck because, I don't know, I just can't think of anything good to say to them. I don't really think too quick on my feet when I'm high, you know? I listen to old shows when I was high, when I was doing them. I can tell on those shows, and I'm always yelling at myself. I'm like, why didn't you say this? Why didn't you say this? What the hell, Brad? It's like you're high or something. So you're wrong, Big Moist. My shows are not better when I'm high. Back in the good old days when I was allowed to get high. Hey, Brad, how you doing? Uh, I'm just a little great. behind on the show. How are you doing I was today? Wondering, uh, yeah, I just I'm listened fine. to the Pretty good. not phone show with Stacy, and I was wondering how come you didn't bring up the Skunk Works uh, news with her? How would it be interesting to hear her reaction? Oh, uh, yeah. She was always on the phone calls with him. Yeah. During the phone show. That's true. Was she? Um, yeah, that's it. Like, in the early days of the phone show, she didn't, I don't know, I don't think she listened to a whole lot of the shows, because she would call in and she would have no idea what was going on. She wasn't listening to the show when she was calling in. She just wanted to be on the show. So I think she missed out on the heyday of Skunk Work stuff. Or maybe I'm completely wrong about that. I don't know. Maybe she listened to every single episode. But I did tell her about Skunk Works on Skype the other day. We were chatting I'm like, hey, you remember that Skunk Works guy? I think she mostly knows Skunk Works as the guy that joined up with those phone winner guys. And he was helping harass us all in real life until we dropped the docs on their leader. Made them all go away forever. So, yeah, sorry. I just wasn't thinking of it during that show. I also told Linear about Skunk Works recently. Like, he had no idea about that. He hadn't heard anything about the whole underground tunnels and all that stuff. And he thought it was hilarious that one of the old phone show callers is being charged with murder now. LOL. Brad, Brad. Brad, Brad. Hey. Oi, Brad. Uh, I, liked, I liked your show that you did with the fireworks, accusing people of uh, setting off fireworks. That that was quite funny. Uh, I, quite en- I, quite, I quite enjoyed that one. 
And oh, okay. I was gonna mention. Uh, have you have you tried the Sonic Mania game yet? Oh yeah, I've been I think playing you it. Like playing it, it nonstop. It's all I ever do anymore is play Sonic Mania. That's pretty much my favorite new game. It's all I do, day and night. Play Sonic Mania. All right, one more voicemail. It's better be good, whoever you are. Thanks so much for bringing back the TNI. Um, oh yeah. I'm really excited about the BDS too. It sounds fun. The TNI. A few weeks ago, you talked about maybe a vinyl instead of a coin next year, and yeah. I just wanted to say I definitely buy it. The coins are neat, but like if they were bigger and you can play audio files off of them using ancient technology, they'd yeah. be cooler. Why not? All right, that's all I gotta say. Bye. I seriously think I might just skip doing anything next year. Like, no coins, no vinyl. I mean, I'm saying that now. I'll probably change my mind by then. But holy shit, that was a lot of work. All that coin stuff. I wasted days, like, just setting everything up, doing envelopes, fucking up and losing money and the whole thing. Like, right now, I am completely burnt out on mailing things to people and just dealing with all that stuff. What a huge fucking mess. But I bet I'll change my mind by next year. I'll forget how shitty this all was. Doing a vinyl record would be kind of awesome. Or like a PLA patch. Calls of Mass Confusion has a patch now. Giad made some patches for the Patreon people. So if you haven't signed up over at patreon.com slash comc, you're missing out on patches and posters for your wall. He made posters too. Apparently he's going to be mailing out posters soon. And yeah, I am really enjoying the TNI machine too. Everyone should be calling into that. The phone number to reach it is 845-470-0336. Right now it is anyway. Tomorrow night, that's not going to work. You're going to have to call the 505-796-5789. I need to set up a more permanent number for that machine. I've been meaning to do that, but haven't got around to it yet because the 505 number was giving me issues. So I just put it on 845 temporarily. I'll get all that figured out soon. But yeah, the the BBS thing is amazing. I've wanted to voice BBS on there for years. I tried to make my own and I couldn't because I suck. And Don Fickles from ClownSec, he put one together that works really great. People are using it. People are calling in. So call in 505-796-5789. Thanks, everybody, for listening to this extremely short show. Thank you, Robert S., Jason B., Wolfatin, David J., and King Richard for sponsoring this episode. It is completely their fault that this episode was so short. Thanks a lot, all of you. I'm going to stop recording now so I can listen to the entire thing again. Do all my editing. Find out how badly I screwed up that lady saying tough bananas. Damn it, Brad. Why'd you do that? Why'd you talk over her? Fucking idiot. Stupid. Stupid. Let's play some Froggy Fresh to end the show with. And then some random clip from a Roy Sipient after. That's what's going to happen. 